fiance wants kids like a teenager wants a car. Hey everyone, welcome back to Child Free for Life. Don't forget to subscribe to Be a For Lifer. Hi everyone, my fiance and I have been together for eight years. We are both in our early 30s. I told him a few months ago after being on the fence for years that I officially 100% have decided I do not want to ever have kids. And 99% have decided I do not want to adopt. I gave him my reasons, which are the same as a lot of us. I like my freedom, sleep, and money. And the world has too many people and is going to crap. He agreed, told me he is perfectly fine not having kids. My fiance loves his freedom too. And he loves to smoke grass and watch HBO. And he, like me, has a hard enough time handling the stress of life as it is. This past weekend, while we were in the car on the way to Christmas shop, I was telling him about how my sister is thinking of starting a family and that I hope she knows exactly what she is getting into. I mentioned how money could be tight, she could be stressed out with no time for herself, etc. My fiance started sort of acting like I was being negative. Our conversation went something like a teen resenting their parent for not getting them a car so they can be like the teens in movies with a cool car and cool life, even though they have no parking spot, no money for gas or oil changes or maintenance and no need for a car because they live above a train station or something. I'm afraid he will resent me someday because we don't have kids and I want him to understand why it is a bad idea, but like a dang teenager, he won't listen. Our convo went something like this. Fiance, having kids can give life a purpose and you can do things as a family like trips and vacations. Me, my life has a purpose. And what is so appealing about family stuff? You are basing that idea on the happy family on TV shows and movies. No, I'm basing it on my family. Like when we would all go to Funville, a little kid theme park place. It was great and we had fun as a family. You were a child. You were not the parent. Your parents had to get you and your siblings cleaned and dressed and ready for the drive and deal with you the whole time while having to feed you and keep you entertained and spend a lot of money. You do not know because they would never tell you, but they may have hated it. You might not be the center of their worlds. They had 30 years of life before you. You're being negative. We will love our kids. Do you want to give up the big living room TV to high-pitched, annoying toddler sounds every day, all day? Our kids won't watch that dumb stuff. Yes, they will. They all do. Do you think your parents enjoyed Nick Jr. on the Disney Channel all day? You are thinking worst case scenario and being negative. This is not worst case scenario. This is fact. This is the truth. I've had friends and exes with kids and have seen the day to day. And I've searched online a lot for information on being a parent. You're basing your ideas off of your own views as a child and what you see in movies and TV. Again, you're thinking worst case scenario and being negative. Don't you remember how annoying your little sister was as a kid? Do you think she and you did not annoy your parents? She's your sister and she annoyed you. So your kid would annoy you too. After reminding him again that I will never carry a baby or give birth, this is where the topic ended and he got kind of passive aggressively rude and was kind of a jerk to me in the store while we were Christmas shopping. I understand if he wants to have a child, I do not want to ruin his life or hold him back or prevent him from being happy, but he really, really should not have one. He would just be broke and miserable. He gets stressed easily and he spends a good amount of his income on grass and cigarettes. We like to go out to eat and go on weekend trips. When he gets home from work, he wants to sit and watch TV and smoke grass and basically do nothing else. I got really passionate in our discussion and when I told all this to my therapist, I also got pretty passionate, mad and worked up. She told me I'm wasting my time trying to convince him and look how I'm getting myself all worked up. She's all for me being child free. I want to prove to my fiance that I am right. I wish there was a way to show him exactly what I mean. Asking other parents won't help because we all know they lie and I can't make him read all the things that I have. I have fear of him leaving me to have a baby with someone. I love him and want to be with him, just him, no kids. Thoughts? I'm sorry if I don't answer right away. I'm writing this on my lunch break and may not be able to check Reddit until the day is over. Edit, I appreciate you all, but the just leave him advice is not what I'm looking for. The just leave him might not be what you're looking for, but it's the only right thing to do. You can't change his mind any more than he can change yours. It's super upsetting. If my fiance started this talk with me, I would not marry him and have a break for a while. Let him really decide what he wants and reinforce that I am not going to change my mind. But that comes at a cost. You will probably lose him. It's a price child free people have to pay. OP doesn't want to hear it. And we aren't saying just leave him. We're saying talk to him. See if he really does want a kid. And if he really does, OP can't change his mind. 
Opie might think it's dumb and expensive and exhausting and romanticized, but some people want kids and that's not something you can compromise on. OP reevaluated their life after establishing a relationship being a fence sitter and realized they don't want kids. OP will now have to reevaluate their relationship based on that, but it's the truth. Thoughts? Sorry to tell you, but you're wasting your time. If he really decides to have kids, then all the reasoning in the world won't help a jot, as you've already found out. He will be convinced he will be an amazing parent even though he'll obviously never lift a finger and his kids will be perfect unicorns who crap rainbows and take smiley photos at Disney. Nothing you say will convince him otherwise. He's drinking the Kool-Aid and about all you can do is make sure you're not the other half of the crap show. Your therapist is 100% right. The only way he'll fall on your side of the fence is if he gets there himself and in the meantime you have to decide what the likelihood of that is. Source been there, done that, walked away, don't regret it. Dude, I really wish I could have some kids here to show him. I wonder if I can pay a mom or dad to bring their kids over and tell my fiance how hard it is. That won't work. This would need to be a decision he needs to make himself. It needs to be a conclusion that he reaches himself, not you serving it to him on a silver platter. Seconding that that won't work, kids that aren't yours are different. They're different people than your hypothetical child will be. Also, most kids act different in their own homes with their parents than they do with babysitters. And that's even depending on how they relate to certain adults. For example, a friend's child was the sweetest angel when we watched her, mostly because I was engaged and had tons of art supplies. But she was a terror at another friend's house where the adults wanted her to just watch TV so they could play video games in a different room. Same child, and we both have day and night opinions on her. I loved babysitting her because she and I hit it off over art. The other couple hated having her over. That's not to say of the emotional investment and stress of them being your own. It's a magnitude of worry that the let's just watch a friend's kids for one night as a test can't fully simulate. I think this is why the kids test the sub has is like a year long challenge to get through, if I'm recalling it correctly. One night with one kid and their best behavior because they're at a cool new person's house won't show you what living with your own 24-7, 365, for 18 plus years could be like. I feel bad for you, girl. I hope y'all are able to make it work, but there's no advice we can give you here that you'd actually listen to based on your edit. You do not want children and he does. You spent years of your life in the maybe I'll have a baby stage and he was probably banking on you being all for it in the end. This will come up again and again. You're both going to be frustrated and upset with each other again and again. Before you tie yourself to him with marriage, maybe some premarital counseling could solve a lot for you guys. Yeah, she's in denial that her relationship isn't going to work out in the long run when it seems to be working just fine for the past eight years. He might be fine staying with her until she hits menopause, but when he wants children, he will pressure her to have them. And if she stays firm, he will find someone else. He's told her he pictures children in his future. Her therapist has told her that she won't be able to change his mind. We're all telling her he won't change his mind. So she's just going to have to learn it the hard way. After ending my relationship for this reason, I still comment on these posts to help confirm these sentiments. These relationships simply won't work. I didn't have to read this post to know it. The sooner OP comes to terms with the fact that this is a black and white incompatibility, the better. Don't let this go on longer than it should. Neither of you should convince each other your point of view on this. And if he did change his mind, eventually he will change it back and you'll be back to the situation. He clearly has a very unrealistic vision of kids. I hear what others are saying and usually I would agree. When you're not compatible, going your own way is best. But here he's basing everything on a scenario that is insanely unrealistic and all rainbows and flowers. Since you can't borrow a kid, I'd say the next best thing is to make him realize how it's going to be. He comes back from work and he's exhausted, drops on the couch, plays video games or whatever. If we had a child, you'd have to help with homework or go pick them up or insert random activity like sports or bath time, or dinner because they need to eat healthy things at a reasonable fixed time. He sleeps late on Saturday? Wake him up. Not in a petty way, but maybe ask him to go somewhere with you, like the pool or hike. Don't pick something he likes. Pick something you only enjoy. It forces him to realize kids might want to do things he doesn't like. 
Then if he complains, sorry, but if we had kids, you'd have to be up already anyway. He's talking about a weekend away. With kids, we couldn't really afford it. And do you know how much a sitter would cost for an entire weekend? I looked it up. It's easily this amount. No idea where you live or the cost of living. No idea about your intimacy life, but if you guys get it on in the heat of the moment, in the kitchen, the living room, or whatever, we couldn't do this with kids. Smoking inside the house? Grass or otherwise? Nope, not possible. The key is to do it in a non-confrontational way. Don't escalate it. Just very simple reminders of how everything changes and no, not in the perfect way he remembers from his childhood. Stick to facts. A reality check might be enough. If not, there isn't much you can do, unfortunately. Don't get married before you guys are clear on this because his behavior makes me think he's convinced you will eventually change your mind.